Hi there guys, uh, the Game of Thrones uh, Season 7 trailer has just dropped, so I'm going to do a bit of analysis of it. Um, so I'll be pausing it quite a few times throughout the thing and flipping back and forth. I've watched a few a couple of times now, so I think I've picked one a few things. So, you, this is obviously Cersei's talking about, um, in this sequence, about the enemies all around them. We have here Grey Worm with the Unsullied. Uh, overview of the of the Athes, the, the um, not the Greyjoys, what they're called, the Octopus people. I've forgotten the names. Anyway, the Octopus people. I believe. I hope. I believe these are them coming over, or is this Daenerys's boats? I can't quite remember the architecture of their boats. Um, we have someone here sharpening a blade. I'm not quite sure if this is Jamie or someone else. Um, right, Arya in the wilderness. As we know, there's a bit of frosting on the uh, ground over there, so hints that the winter is has come. A bit more of that later. Uh, okay, so here we have um, Cersei looking over the battle map with Je well, not the battle map, but with Jamie. There's the uh, map of Westeros, and I think. At the top there, are they the maps of the additional worlds, perhaps? I'm not quite sure. But in the bottom, bottom left corner, you have the you know compass with the Lannister sigil in the middle. You have the wall, obviously, in the north, and then the Summer Sea at the bottom. So, obviously, looking to see what, <laughs> what they're going to do when they have enemies all around them. Okay, moving on. So, yeah basically what it's saying. So here we have the Lannister army marching. I don't, this might tie into later on in the trailer where you see um, Daenerys is, are they, were they Doth, are they the Dothraki or the Second Sons? I can't quite remember if it is the Dothraki she's got now in her army. But you see a bit later on of them tearing through the Lannister forces. So here we have um, obviously the throne room. Um, obviously Cersei's on her place. We have the mount, uh, on our place on the throne um we have the mountain on the left which I th I, we see it later on he's sporting some sort of new fancy armor that looks a little bit dumb when you see him for the first time and obviously jamie on the right hand side sorry her left our right um and it looks like the guy in the middle he's delivering some news that they're not too happy about as you can see by the concerned expressions and cersei basically looking how she normally does in every single scene she's in um here we have Tyrion, um, st still handed the queen, and he is about to see the dragon f swooping up. Now, I'm not quite sure. We Let's go back a little bit. So there's a the dragon. Um, but in the background to the right, we have a castle or fortification or something, and we see later Daenerys in the throne room. But I think the majority of people were speculating that it, I speculate as well, it's Dragonstone. Still could be Dragonstone that they land at to take her rightful seat of her ancestral home. But later on, I think it's after this actually, we see obviously these doors open up and I'm pretty sure at the top of there, I can't quite work it out, but there's like a sigil on the thing. I'm not quite sure if that's a lion or a dragon or I'm not quite sure. Uh, but you see the unsullied at the bottom open up the doors. There's some architecture on the right hand side, but I can't really work out. Is that a fish or something? I don't know. People will probably tell better what it is. But obviously, you see here Daenerys, Grey Worm, the unsullied, and Varys to the left. You can just see his cloak moving into the castle walls or whatever fortification it is. This is why I believe. I think this is Daenerys, although I had. It's hard to tell. I think this is Daenerys, but it looks like when she's touching the ground of the shore, it looks like a beach she's on. Is she sort of touching it to say like she's home, sort of thing? She's on, she's back in Westeros, and she's feeling it for the first time, sort of thing. Um, so here we are in the throne room, and this is where it could be Dragonstone or Castle Rock. Um, either way, we'll find out soon. I mean, here's why. Oops, here's why I think it might be. It could still be Dragonstone she takes over and then they move on to Castle Rock because you see obviously this archway here with the Lannister L and the dra uh, dragons, the lions on uh, either side of the archway and the Unsullied coming in. Already a, a dead Lannister soldier on the floor, either he's an archer that was shot down and fell off the wall on the battlements and fell down 
or it was a surprise attack from the inside like they did um, with the second sons was it and open the gates from the inside but anyway so you see a lot of combat uh, Lars's forces getting cut down on the side. we see in this sequence we see obviously they say the king of the north again um, and have John turn uh, what it looks like is another council meeting possibly to discuss the Daenerys uh, Cersei situation uh, we have Brienne on the right uh, Sansa in the background, yeah, Sansa in the background, and John in the middle, around along with other lords and commanders of the North Army. So, uh, here we are, council meeting. Davos on the left, and uh, Cersei, Sansa on the right. So yeah, another council meeting possibly to discuss that and the problems of the North. Littlefinger being manipulative yet again. Um, okay, oh, go back. So here we have the gate opening to the north again, similar to what you saw in the first episode. It's probably the same shot, recycled, possibly. Don't really know, probably not. But yeah, this uh, th this ties in later on where you see John and, oh, what's his name? I can never remember the name, the ginger beard dude. But them in the north looks like running away from White Walkers. So here we have, and here we have Theon. I think this is the only sequence of Theon we see, but this will tie into a uh, next a sequence later on, that I think. Cause it's surrounded by embers, so it looks like something on fire, and since they were on a boat last time, it might be something to do with the battle sequence coming up. Um, so yeah. Here we have... Oh, why can't I remember the minor character's name? Lady in Red, you know, Lord of Light princess that's wearing a necklace that changes her appearance. We all know. She's, you know, she's not... She's in a bad state. She knows that, you know, all her faith is nothing. And, you know, it'll be interesting to see how her character develops in this. But here we have, obviously, them coming up the side of the walls. I think this is Daenerys, Grey Worm, and Tyrion, because there's a small, <laughs> a small figure coming up the walls. It looks a lot like Tyrion. So I'm assuming this is what she's looking at, them coming up. So here we have the wildlings, looks like a small either scouting party or a small group of survivors, maybe this is like the op one of the opening sequences, running away from most likely white walkers or whites. Um, if we go back a little bit as well, uh, a f looks like someone's limping injuries amongst them so they're probably going to get hunted down quickly. Sansa, not Sansa, Blee, Arya, or Arya, as they keep, keep changing the name. Um, in the wilderness, looking like she's uh, doing quite well, surviving, and surrounded by a load of snow, it appears. So, obviously, I think these are the same guys, or possibly a different band of people, as you see the slaughter, they look like they're being surrounded by the White Walkers, the snow will blind them, and then they'll get hunted down or picked off one by one, one or two. And here we have Littlefinger looking very creepy and menacing in the shadows. So, you know, you all know he's up to something. He always has an alternative gender. You're not quite sure what he's up to in the shadows in the background. So yeah, okay, here we have the Dothraki. I'm going to call them Dothraki because they look like them. Jumping in off from horseback into Lannister formations, which is pretty cool. Now... This is the bit where we saw with Theon. I'm assuming this is like an aftermath or something. Look, you've got a boarding party on the right attacking a boat. It either it's in at sea or it is moored up at a dockyard. You see combat on the boat between. It's hard to tell who it's between, to be honest. Um, but yeah, it looks like where that's where Theon is. So it could be the Greyjoy sort of fleet of ships. Um, maybe being attacked, betrayed, unknown at this stage. And we have Davos. Just saying it doesn't really matter who's on the Iron Throne, who's what skeletons on the Iron Throne, because at the end of the day it's not going to matter, because the big war is coming. So this, this looks like, um, this does look like the, th the place where, uh, I believe Stannis used to mope around in his battle room. I'm pretty sure it's similar to that, possibly uh, similar design. Right, this looks so dumb. 
He looks like he's on like a um, what do you call it? Like a turntable. He like can't move properly, so they've they've moved him around. So he's like, wee! There he is. Now this, I believe, this is moving into the ship part or some point. It looks like the ships are there. I think you can sort of see the squid. Sorry, the, not squid. The Kraken on the shield there, so I think that's that. Oh, yeah, I think that's that. It's hard to tell, it's quite a dark shot. Anyway, so here we have John strangling Littlefinger against the wall. Obviously, he's found out what awful, diabolical plot he's scheming, and John wants to put a stop to it, but we'll find out what that scheme is. I think still Sansa's in his eyes or some other ulterior motive. Anyway, so here we have more Unsullied attacking uh, the battlements at most likely Castle Rock. Uh, all cool action sequences. Uh, Arya looking inquisitive, looking under something. I don't know if this is too for this shot, I doubt it. But this looks like Mr. Mormont. Jorah Mormont looking like she's been locked up because of his affliction. And most likely going to die this season because, yeah, he's looking for a cure. Probably won't get one. And it looks like he's really, really far gone. But I'm guessing his head and body are still fine. It's just probably his arms, so he gets good screen time. But we're interested to see what happens with Jorah. And here we have more battle scenes. You've got this guy, <laughs> this Lannister guy. He is fucked. And he's getting mowed down. Here we have it. So we have them running through John in front. Obviously being chased by White Walkers, obviously he ventures north of the wall, perhaps. This is ties into what me and Jim were thinking, that the wall will fall this season. And there'll be more. Anyway, so here we have Grey Worm and... Oh. Her handmaiden. Similar to another character's name. Ah, it escapes me. And then we have another one escapes me. Uh, Oberyn's... Pa it looks like Oberyn's Paramore with... What's her name? Ursh, uh, Greyjoy. Theon's sister. There we are. So it looks like they're having a little romantic rendezvous in order to solidify their alliance, perhaps. Um, I can't tell whose arm this is. Probably didn't it? Uh, Tyrion, I think. This might be Tyrion saying, attack Castle Rock, knock off, knock the lying out of the game. Um, I think? It could tie in. Um, and then this is obviously probably Theon or someone else being thrown from the boat into the water to escape the fiery depths of doom. And, and here we have the cool money shot of the dragon leading the Dothraki force. Well, not leading the Dothraki force, but it's at the, he's at the head of the Dothraki forces. So we're going to get some dragon on squishy human action and see loads of people get burnt to crisp. So there we are. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. There we are. So, uh, me and Jimmy are going to do a speculation video, uh, a bit more in-depth thing. This was just, um, you know, a quick analysation of it. Um, so, yeah. 16th to the 7th, we'll find out all the goodies and what is to happen in Game of Thrones. But, so thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next time.